What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a look through of the AEW reveals from the Revolution Fan Fest. I know I'm a couple days late. I've been busy over the weekend so I figured I'd go ahead and get it out to you guys today. So let's get right on into it. Alright so the very first one we are going to look at is the Unmatched 4 CM Punk and I'm going to do these really quick. I'm going to give you my brutally honest opinion of this. You guys may not like it. You guys, you guys may love it. Who knows? We're just going to do it. Um, the hoodie's cool. This is from his very first match. The head scan is alright to me. It's passable. Um, comes with a microphone. Nice. Uh, the knees and legs. Too skinny. Looks like a women's figure. They're really skinny. I do not like that. The picture of his dog on the back looks cool. The chase variant, which is the classic trunks look that we know for CM Punk. It comes with the smirk head scan. A lot of people are talking really highly of this. I think this looks really weird. Something about the torso looks very off to me. I do like the molded arms here, I guess you could say. Or the, the, the wrist tape. Yeah, the wrist tape going onto the forearms. I do think that looks cool. We will see how that looks once it's in person. I would like for Jazzwares to give us a version of CM Punk where the tattoos go all the way down the figure. Like, all the way down the hand. That'd be really cool. He comes with a Pepsi tattoo, which is kind of surprising, and the Cobra tattoo right here. So that's very shocking. Let's go on to the next one. The next one we have is the Chris Jericho Corazon de Leon figure of him from CMLL or AAA. I'm not entirely sure. This is before he was in WCW and ECW. This figure looks cool. It doesn't do anything for me. It's another one of the Luminaries figures, which I think all of them are going to hold value over time. I'll have to see what it looks like when it's the final form of it, and then I'll make my opinion based off that alone. Up next, we have MJF from Unmatched 4. <laughs> this head scan's terrible. Um, the gear, however, is perfect. I have been wanting this white and purple gear for the Pinnacle ever since this match. And I'm even more excited, like, now that I know it's an actual thing that's happening. But this head scan's not it. It's not it at all. I'm sorry. It's not good. The back of it looks cool. I, I hate the way the back of the figures look, but you can say what you want to about that. You see a comment right here. See, nah, that's FJM instead of MJF, whoever this head scan's based off of. But it'll work for a ring crew in my diorama. Jade Cargill, Unmatched 4. This figure looks perfect. The face is a little eh. I think her... Face is a little more like defi uh, not def it has more definition. Just like Chris Statlander, I didn't think her figure, like her face scan, really gave her face justice. I think the same thing here. I do think her arms should be a little bit bigger, also. But I hope this scales really well next to the men's figures because she is very tall. And I think this is perfect. I wish this was in her red and white gear, but she wore that recently, so I knew it wasn't going to happen in the first place. But it looks great, and I can't wait to get it in hand. After that, we have a suited Cody from Unmatched 4, which is actually really freaking cool. Um, I'm anxious to see what this looks like without the peacoat. Not peacoat, whatever it is. I'm anxious to see how it looks without it, because then it, that would determine if you could use it for other figures or not. But I think it's really cool. It comes with a godforsaken neck tattoo. <laughs> but that's good. I mean, you can't complain about a suited figure. I've always been saying I want more promo attires, and this is just fine work as always. Up next, promo gear, Hangman, Adam Page, Unmatched 4. So that is our second promo figure from Unmatched 4. So definitely excited about that. I think this looks cool. This connecting area looks a little weird here. The beer can looks a little too big. That's nitpicking, though. I think this is really cool. The head scan's a little cartoony. I think it might look better once it's finalized, but can't complain about this at all. And it looks to be the special... Uh, ostrich skin boots. So that's really it's even crazier. Wrestle Buddies, I don't care about these. If you want to, to see somebody break these down, find a different account, honestly. This Ricky Starks looks great. The head looks perfect. The pose is awesome. I love that they put him in the pose on the uh, on the display at the show. The gear, awesome. It's nice metallic blue with the yellow like designs in it and everything. Everything's perfect about this. I can't find any complaints about this, really. And definitely, we will be picking up this. And we will talk about the Chase version of this in a little bit. Powerhouse Hobbs from Unrivaled 9. This was a letdown. 
This is actually a huge letdown. Um, I think they could have used the Wardlow body for Powerhouse Hobbs. Um, I don't know what went wrong here. The torso and the abdomen look really, really weird to me. Um, it's kind of giving me like James Ellsworth syndrome where it just looks like he has like a real long torso, longer than it actually is. So, I, the gear looks cool, the tattoos look cool. Perfect head scan. If you're going to have a Will Hobbs, you need to have the, the smirk face. But I don't know what the... I don't know. Maybe it looks better by the end. I'm not sure. When it gets in hand, I'll have a better opinion of it for sure. But let's go on to the next one. We have Series 9 Eddie Kingston. <laughs> From one letdown to another. Um, I don't know when they got the rights to make Bubba Ray Dudley. This does not look like Eddie Kingston at all. It comes with the special signature hand for only Eddie. So that's really cool. These beads look weird. I'll put different beads on it for sure. There's a car going by. Um... Anxious to see how the articulation works for this area here. These look to be mox legs, so I'm afraid that Eddie Kingston might be just a little too tall. But we will see once it's in hand, once again, and logo on the back. That looks good. I like the gear choice. This is what I think of when I think of Eddie Kingston, but we'll see once it gets further down the line. Christian Cage. Um, <laughs> torso looks weird, but it kind of has like that old man torso. Uh, face looks terrible. I don't know what they're thinking about that. Uh, gear's alright. I don't recognize the gear. Um, at this point with me, once you've seen one Christian gear, you've seen them all. So I'm not entirely sure, but hopefully, God, this looks better by the time it actually comes out, because I'm not having it. Brian Cage is next. Um, right off the bat, and I think this is because it's a prototype, the chest and the abdomen are different color skin tones. So there's that. Um, this looks to be maybe a new leg mold. I don't recognize this. I could be wrong. Um, looks to be bigger arms, unless these are the Wardlow arms. I'm just definitely mistaken. Head scan's a little weird, but I don't, I don't know what about it is weird. If that makes sense. I like the you know like the um the gear it looks good. I like that. And I, it's a solid figure. We're going to have majority of Team Taz by the end of this, so I'm down with that. It's always cool to complete a team. Up next, Unrivaled 9, Thunder Rosa. Something about this doesn't do it for me. I don't know what it is. And I feel like I'm being very, very like negative during this, but I'm, I, I swear I'm not. I'm going to pick up all these for sure. But, of course, I mean, I'm spending a lot of money on these. You, we have a right to, you know, say what we think about them. But... I don't know, something about it. I think it's the hair, maybe? I don't know, I don't like the, I'm not one for expressive head scans also, so that could be part of the problem. The This looks cool, and whatever this is that will go on her head, that looks cool. See, it's not on that one, see, it's not here, but it is here, so, not sure. After that, we have the Chase version of Thunder Rosa. This one looks better, but it looks plain. I love the headpiece, I love the sugar skull face. I wish there was a design here, design here, maybe just another color to make something pop? I don't, I don't know, and they don't show the back of this one, so it is what it is at that point. After that, we have the rare version, which is the one of 3,000 Ricky Starks, and this is from his feud with Darby Allen and Sting, and I'm actually very cool, like, I'm very happy about this. I'm definitely gonna try and pick this one up loose, because I just think, I, I, it's fun. It's, it's a one-off, you're only gonna get it one time, and it looks awesome. And this will go, I will put this honestly, I don't know if I even put this with Team Taz, this might go on my Darby and Sting shelf, but I'm very pleased with this one. Then we have the Coffin Drop uh, Darby Allen. We've done a whole video on that before. No need to go into it again. Same thing with uh, Kenny Omega. It looks all right in person. I'm not a fan of the head scan still. Well, I think then there's the John Moxley. I'm tired of the John Moxley figures, honestly. I don't need any more. Wardlow. This is my favorite reveal of the whole entire thing. This is great. Pinnacle knee pads, all white gear with the purple accents, the purple designs, my favorite color is purple. I'm just like MDT, I love white gears. The skin tone seems to be fixed so he doesn't look grayed out like he has some kind of health issue. This is perfect. Man bun still there, the design on the back. You can't complain about that whatsoever. This figure is perfect. Buy 10 of them, please, so we get more Wardlow figures. Taz. 
Uh, this one actually looks pretty cool. Uh, my buddy's a huge Taz fan. He doesn't like it, so I think his main complaint was that it didn't come with the FTW title. I, I kind of get that. I'm with him on there, but I have a custom title. I mean, it comes with a jacket. comes with his hat, I do believe. comes with an alternate head scan and I think sunglasses? I'm not entirely sure, but we will see later on in the reveals. Andrade, it looks to, so <clears throat> I don't know how early this is into production. This is Unrivaled 10 Andrade. Um, it looks to be that they're getting away from the photo reel. And if that's the case, fine, cool, whatever. But we'll see once this comes in hand. I think this is the Matt Hardy torso for the Andrade figure. I think this looks really good. I'm definitely excited about getting this one. Miro, the proportions on it are weird. It's the same problem as the first one. It's just a better looking gear. And I don't think they've retooled anything to make it better. The head's a thousand times better though. I will give them that. Cause the first head should never even like made it into production, but we'll see once it gets in hand. The Blood and Guts Jake Hager. So it appears they're making everybody from the Blood and Guts match last year, which was the Inner Circle and the Pinnacle. I'm down with it. I'm going to get them all, put them on the shelf together. It looks really cool. I love like when they make special one-off gears like this. You may be like, ah, man, this isn't the Jake Hager I want. That's okay. Pass on it. They'll make another one. You know they will. <laughs> Britt Baker from Unrival 10. This one's great. This is the Blood Drip India NWO style gear. And yeah. I'm, I love the head, the hair the hair sculpt's better. Everything about this is just all around a thousand times better than her last release. Homelander Cody, I love this gear, love this gear, I love the jacket. Head scan's a little, mm, this head scan's, mm, this head scan's, mm, interchangeable arms though, which will, I'm assuming, plug in just like the Ultimate Editions. The gear just looks amazing. Somebody said that, uh, these have butterfly joints, so anxious to see how that is. So we'll go on to the next one, and it is the Supreme Britt Baker. This figure is perfect, honestly. The hair sculpt, all of them, the faces. I don't like, I don't like that face. I don't like that face at all. But this is really, really good. And there's more to this figure, which we will look at later. I love the Britsburg gear. There's more to this. We'll see it later. Malachi Black. One, two, three, four heads, a mask, interchangeable legs. So this is the short and the trunks, just like I called a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, something. The robe thing, vest thing, everything. This comes with everything. If This is the most all-inclusive figure I think you will ever see. <laughs> Even if you don't like Malachi Black, it's got everything you need. And then <laughs> the highlight, I think, of the show for everybody was the ringside exclusive Brody and negative one two pack. How can you not love this? This is the most wholesome thing I've ever seen. And especially like this picture here. Shout out to M MBG right there. Matt Goldberg, fantastic photography as always. This is just absolutely amazing. And it's great that we were able to have this in figure form. Then there's up close pictures of the Brody, which is the same gear as the last one, just comes with this white jacket. The negative one looks great, comes with a little dark order hand, so that's that's cool. It's gonna go right on the shelf. Wrestle buddy, don't care, don't care. Not for me, y'all. Not for me. And just okay. Unmatched five. Brian Danielson. I don't know how they planned on like rushing this out so fast. Um, this looks great, but this is a digital render, so it'll all come down to how it looks once we actually get it. I love that they have the man bun head here. They have the hair down head from when he's in the middle of a match. I love that. That is perfect. This will probably get more use than this. Figure photographers are going to be using this. This is amazing and simply perfect. I can't explain it enough. This is just, it's all around great. Unmatched 5, LJN Darby. I hate that this took up a spot in Unmatched 3. I would rather have like Alex Reynolds in there to team with John Silver, but it is what it is. This is a pass for me. I mean, I'm probably going to get it. I'm not going to open it. It's kind of just going to be in the collection. Unmatched Kenny. Now, I do not like Kenny at all. <laughs> I think you guys know that. 
Um, I made a whole video on why I hated Kenny Omega. But this is a promo gear at the end of the day, and that's what I've always preached about. So I could take this and put a Seth Rollins head on there and have him in a crazy gear. At the end of the day, this could be a jeans with white sneakers promo attire for a guy. So a lot of use for this, honestly. Red Velvet, this figure looks perfect. Honestly, she doesn't get enough TV time. I'm actually a pretty big uh, fan of Red Velvet for whatever reason. This is going to go great. And she teams with Chris Statlander, so I'll just put her with the best friends on the shelf. Another one of the Blood and Guts Inner Circle figures is Sammy Guevara. These head scans are better than the first one. I still am not entirely sold on this one. So I'll just have to make the call once I see it in person. But it comes with the, their local prisons on the back. I just think that's awesome. It was great for the match. Sean Spears. So, a little known fact. You guys don't know this, but I am a huge Ty Dillinger fan. And was when he was in NXT. Main roster on in WWE. And I wish that he would have got a figure way before now. But this gear is perfect and it's worth the wait. Because it comes with this full arm tattoo. Comes with the stupid mohawk that he rocks. And it comes with the white and purple pinnacle gear from Blood and Guts. And it comes with gloves I didn't even like remember him wearing. So that's interesting. But definitely like instant pickup for me. Unmatched Series 6. I'm assuming this is going to be a suited Brody. This is going to be a suited Malachi probably. A Ruby Soho is definitely going to have an expressive head scan. And I think this Ortiz and Santana are going to be in the blood and guts gear so I'm anxious to see that and then the final person in there is the luminaires luminaries own heart this is he was before my time but everybody's been preaching for him for years and years and years so it's gonna be awesome to see how that actually comes out it's not my cup of tea but i know a lot of people are going to be wanting it series seven unmatched um yeah death triangle Probably an instant purchase. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a Joker Pentagon. The CM Punk, I do not know who they're going to be. I don't think it's going to be in the white gear against Eddie Kingston. I think it's going to be a Bloody Guts. Blood and Guts exclusive. Maybe it's from his promo gear from like the night he returned. That'd be awesome. Thunder Rosa, I hope this one's better than Unrivaled 9. And Hook, instant sellout. You guys know it's going to be insane when that drops. Uh, there's that Britt Baker from earlier up close. Comes with a jacket. It just looks really good. This is the Unrivaled 10, so I'm, I'm, this is probably going to be like the Series 2 jacket, which I really, really hope is not the case. Jake Hager, we saw earlier, the non-screaming head I think looks perfect. You can always get the IC off of there if you don't want it for that, but this is a lot better than his Series 6 release. The Andrade looks good. The hair sculpt looks phenomenal. The unmasked, or the masked head looks really cool. Miro, yeah, pass for me. There's the Taz with the other head scan. Somebody said this looks like Wario from the Mario games, and that's all I see now, sadly. There's the other head scan, sunglasses. Apparently, it doesn't come with a hat. So, time to go find a hat to put on that when it comes out. Oh, it comes with a big ring on there, too. That's cool. Wardlow, you guys know the deal. Instant purchase. Comes with the interchangeable heads. A smorgasbord of hands. No. Hold on, no, C-Grips, Fizz. Yeah, just C-Grips and Fizz. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> Adam Cole, this one had to have gotten rushed out. There's no freaking way they got it out this fast. Head scan looks great, tattoo looks great. Torso does not do anything for me. I don't know why it doesn't look right to me. Comes with the Bebe hands, and he comes with the Bebe jacket. So it's gonna be rubber, so that's gonna suck. But other than that, I think this looks really good, and I like the hair sculpt on this. Another one of the Blood and Guts Inner Circle members, we have the Chris Jericho figure. It's awesome. You know, I'm kind of sick and tired of seeing this head scan, but it is what it is. Jungle Boy. This looks terrible. I don't know who this child is, but this is not Jungle Boy. This is an easy pass for everybody involved in this. This is horrendous. Kip Sabian. Somebody that needs to be on TV more. This is actually uh, really good. Tattoo work, the hair sculpt, the face sculpt, all this looks perfect, honestly. And I love the single arm jacket. And it's weird. I don't know why his, uh, I never noticed that his jacket arm covers his tattoo sleeve. 
but his bare arm sticks out of the jacket. That's cool. I like it. Penelope Ford goes to the Kip Sabian. Everybody's talking about this figure. Sunglasses, jacket. That's why they're talking about this figure. <laughs> We're not going to spend too much time on it, but the figure looks great. Darby Allen from when he teamed with Stink in the cinematic match, I believe, with Team Taz. This is great. This is actually really good. This is going to match your Walmart Stings. Um, this is this is actually something special. This is a uh, instant purchase for many, I believe. This is uh, one of the best reveals of the day. I'd put that up there with Wardlow. Yes, butterfly joints on the Supreme Collection. Comes with a really nice weight belt. Love the jacket, love the shirt. Spare weight belt, I'm assuming? Yeah, two different weight belts to go with the gears that they correspond with. And that's how that'll be packaged. And I think that's really cool. That's very unique packaging. The Britt Baker looks great. I don't like that head sculpt. I love this one, love this one. Title, fisted hands, locked jaw hands, splayed out hands, microphone. Oh, nope. Then she comes with a Britsburg t-shirt and jeans. We have a promo attire Britt Baker. So that's going to be perfect. Definitely need two of these. Kenny Omega from the Supreme Collection 2. I believe this is his gear from when he fought against Hangman? Not entirely sure. Comes with the blue hair, uh, the, the mutton chops. Is it the mutton chops? The handlebar? No, the handlebar mustache, I believe. Yeah. Then these two head scans. All these are four brand new head scans, I believe. So this is great. Comes with the jacket. This gear here is perfect. This is going to look really good. You can throw this away. This, this is something nice. Then we have the Malachi Black. Look at this. One, two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this a mask? Or is this a spare head? I think this is four heads. I'm not entirely sure. Don't hold me to this. This is four heads with two interchangeable masks. Uh, the, all the tattoos you could want from Malachi. Mic holding, or weapon holding hands, fisted hands. His vest, and this, whatever this, you would, I don't know what you'd call this. And the shorts. There's a lot going on. <laughs> then they went up for pre-order. Display stands are back in stock. And that is everything. Those are your reveals from Revolution Fan Fest. So definitely know what your top, like, let me know what your top picks are in the comments down below. Let's say uh, my top three for the whole show, Wardlow, the new Wardlow, um, I'm going to give you a top five, Wardlow, Sean Spears, that new Darby, uh, Chase Ricky Starks, and Jade Cargill. I think they're all great. And I cannot wait to pick up all these, but that's going to be it for today. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and last but not least, take it easy. Thanks.